Hello everyone. We are going to start a new subject that is irrigation engineering and in this first video we are going to study about the definition of irrigation. So let's start. So when we talk about the irrigation the first thing that comes to our mind is the plants or the crops. When we look at the crops this is the phase wise growth cycle of the any crop that we grow. Now obviously to grow like this the plant or the crop that will need a good soil. In addition to this the nutrients must be there which are necessary for the growth of the plants. The light and air and last of the component that should be there that is the water. When we talk about the irrigation engineering the major focus is on the last term that is required for the growth of the crops and that is water. So the irrigation engineering that will be dealing with the water availability. Now what do we mean by this water availability that means for the growth of the plants because these crops or the plants they will require different amount of water at different times. So basically to avail the required quantity of water to the different crops according to their demands at the time of their requirement that is known as the irrigation and to provide the different methods with the help of which we can make this suitable arrangement this branch of engineering that is known as the irrigation engineering. Now when we are talking about the availability of the water so can we create this water obviously the answer would be a big no. That means what we are ensuring we are just making the supply of the water that means the water is available at one place let's say this water is available at this place and the crops are grown at this part. So what we need to do we need to supply this water from the actual area where the water is stored to the area where the water is required and this process of providing the supply of water that is known as the irrigation and this method of irrigation that depends upon the level of engineering that has been done here. That means the means with the help of which we will supply the water from some place then what should be the size of that supply all of that factors that come under the purview of the irrigation engineering while the demand of water which will be required for the suitable growth of the plant and how can we economically utilize the water which is availed to the crops that comes under the domain of the agricultural engineering so we won't be studying about that the focus of study that will be particularly on the irrigation engine. Then the first question that comes to mind that is why do we need this irrigation because as we have seen that there is a natural way with the help of which we can apply the water to the plants. There is a natural way with the help of which we can apply the water to the plants and what is that obviously you must be aware about the rainfall. So the natural dropping of the water droplets that is known as the rainfall. So if we are having the rainfall then why do we need this irrigation? So the answer is simple that as you know that the rainfall in India because we will be talking majorly about the Indian conditions. So the rainfall in Indian condition that is not very persistent. Obviously there is a particular season in which we see a lot of rainfall otherwise there is the dry season and that's why we may not be dependent upon the rainfall completely for the growth of the plants because different crops grow around different time of the year. So what we need we need a regular supply of the water. So that's why we cannot be dependent upon the natural way of providing the water that is the rainfall and to tackle with this the man has developed a way of itself and that is the irrigation engineering. So basically scientific application of the water to the crops or the plants that is known as the irrigation engineering. 
So if you look at the actual definition, then irrigation is defined as the artificial application of the water to the land in accordance with the crop requirements because different crops may require the different amount of water. So we will be ensuring the water supply keeping in mind the different requirements of the crop throughout the crop period that means the duration within which this crop will be completely grown and will be harvested throughout that period we will be ensuring the regular supply of the water for the full fledged nourishment of the crops that means the nourishment of the crop that should be full and this method of application of water that will be artificial because as we have discussed the natural way or the natural application of the water that deals with the rainfall and that is studied under the different subject that is known as the hydrology because that will study under the domain of the water resource engineering too. So with this we will end this part and in the next video we will take a look at the what is the necessity of the irrigation. Why do we need this irrigation? Thank you.